Oh, hi everyone. How are you all doing? Um, I hope you're doing well. So, um, I just innocently went to my Facebook and I sound like such a boomer, fa my Facebook, but I went to Facebook and instead of logging me in automatically, um, it asked me for a new password and I kind of thought, oh dear, what's happened? Uh, anyway, I, um, give it a new password, um, despite the fact I've already changed my password a bunch of times in the past. And then it says, well, maybe your account's been hacked. Have you, um, did, are there any posts here that you didn't make? And I said, well, no, no, there aren't any posts that I didn't make. And so I go through this whole process and then I find out that I've been banned for three days for asking a question. Um, it was a question about a certain individual that is a former leader of a certain British group. Um, let's call him Voldemort, for want of a better word. But um, for this, I was banned for three days. So I made this um, post about a month ago, and I'd completely forgotten that I'd actually made it. But I was just asking the question. Um, the question was, should Voldemort have been banned from Facebook? Now, I don't think that he probably should have because they didn't actually give any evidence of what he supposedly done and a lot of other people have been purged recently from Facebook for um, having the wrong opinions so I I don't know I kind of don't agree with these people but I do feel that they should be allowed to express themselves in a free democratic society but more and more often it sort of seems like they can't express themselves um, because, you know, the, um, the space where they express themselves, uh, you know, kind of banning them, you know, a lot of people do politics online now. So, you know, the fact that people can be completely banned from the internet for just holding the wrong opinion, I, I don't think that's a great thing. I don't think it's healthy. I don't think it's good for democracy. I don't think people are idiots, right? If people hear a view that they don't agree with, well, they're not just going to believe that idea because people are um, pretty smart, you know, and people can make up their own minds, at least in theory. But of course, if you block off all the information coming into, you know, if you block off all these um, sources of information that may not be the sort of status quo, then, you know, you don't actually destroy the information. All you're doing is you're pushing these people underground and they will generally do politics by other means, right? And you know, that's never good, right? So you want to keep these people politically engaged. After all, in a democracy, it's meant to be the rule of the people, right? It's meant to be um, the people choosing who they want to lead them, and they um, should be able to choose pretty much anyone they want, ideally. <sighs> so anyway, um, the level of censorship on Facebook is getting completely ridiculous. Um, I think, personally, I'm going to move to um, Gab.ai, and um, just use Facebook um, like far less than I do now um, because the, honestly I, I just can't take this um, North Korean level of censorship um, because I don't know if I'm going to say something and it's going to get banned because I didn't even get the mem memo that you're not even allowed to mention Voldemort anymore in any kind of context or post any pictures of Voldemort but pff, I don't know um, I mean, I understand if you're spreading hateful propaganda, right? That's bad. That should be banned on Facebook. But just referencing Voldemort, it, it just seems completely ridiculous and bizarre to me. Um, they, what Facebook needs to do, right? If they're going to keep on this path of censoring everyone, right? Who they don't like for whatever reason, because, you know, they're not ultra lefties or whatever then if they need to add a little um robot right and the little robot will scan your content and you know it will scan the image and it will tell you right away whether that content is acceptable or not on facebook right and it won't be perfect but it will give people some kind of indication because i don't remember a memo um sent around by facebook saying you're not allowed to ask questions about our um our decisions because facebook is um a apparently some kind of god and you know we have to kind of obey without even um having any kind of feedback i i think everyone especially in democracies everyone 
you know, you should be able to question everyone. We can question a queen, or a prime minister, or even Lord Zuckerberg, who makes these incredible decisions for us. I, oh, I just believe in democracy, and I believe that Facebook should be a public space, but it isn't anymore. And it probably never was, but it's just getting absolutely ridiculous now. So I'm banned for three days. Of course, I've appealed it, but um, who knows if the appeal's going to come through. Um, I don't even know what content's going to get me banned anymore. This was a post that I made about a month ago, and I don't even remember making it. 